Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you this interesting looking bulb. It looks like a standard A19 incandescent, and it is a standard incandescent, but it's A17 in shape. It's smaller than your standard A19 bulb. Interesting. Sylvania did this for a short period of time, and you can see here that the diameter and size is all miniaturized. Same height though. At least, almost. Yeah, it's A17 instead of A19. Isn't that something? The other thing to note here is that it is a super saver bulb. It's 52 watts, and that's supposed to equal, as far as my understanding, a 60 watt incandescent bulb. So we'll compare the two here today. I'm not entirely sure what kind of filament structure we have inside here, if it's horizontal or vertical, but we'll find that out when we turn it on. Pretty standard. What do they have here? Does it say soft white? No, so it's probably just a standard, um, you know, basic coating or something, where this one here, it's definitely a soft white, um, but this one's a double life bulb too. So, let's go ahead and bring over our adapter here. Put it all the way to dim. Turn it on. What do we have? Ooh, very nice. A vertical filament. That's naturally not supported at all. Sounds like very Sylvania. Well, GE did a similar thing too, so whatever. We'll go ahead and turn off the main lights here. And appreciate that filament for a minute. Very cool. Very fragile as well. Here's another look at the etch. Super saver. We'll go ahead and bring it to full brightness here and get some readings. It's about two feet above the lux meter and we're getting about 305 or so lux, if I can hold steady. 51.7 watts. So let's go ahead and compare it here to a 60 watt incandescent. Here we go. Oops, wrong way. Let's bring it all the way to full brightness and just start there. Yep, no difference. Same brightness, at least from what I could tell. Of course, all together we have 111 watts. Beautiful. Let's dim it down. They're both incandescent. I'm not sure what... Uh, oh yeah, this is a vertical filament too. You can tell by the uh, shadow there. But they definitely dim at the same time. No surprise, they're both incandescent after all. Beautiful dimmability. I love that vertical filament. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and turn the lights back on. Can't even see that they're on, but they're on right now. They're just that dim. Oops. And they got that hum, you know, that incandescent hum that goes with it. Help if I turned the dial the right way. You think I'd remember eventually. But a very cool bulb. Sylvania didn't make them for that long. I'm not sure if any of the other companies did. All of them that I usually find are Sylvania, so I'm going to assume they are the only ones that did for a while. But unique it most certainly is. Anyway, I definitely hope you enjoyed this quick little video and comparison of the Sylvania A17-shaped Super Saver 52-watt incandescent bulb. Also, please come rate, share, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.